When you raise the chill. When you raise the chill. Colonel Brady will receive no more chieftains. What's that? What's that? Dead men make no peace treaties. What are you saying? Colonel Brady and his men are dead. Dead? Their heads split open with tommyhawks. The Allegheny Uprising was an armed uprising between citizens of the province of Pennsylvania and the British Army between March 5th and November 18th, 1765. The nine-month uprising began when a wagon train loaded with illegal warlike goods was discovered at Pauling's Tavern, south of Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Alarmed by the train's contents, citizens led by James Smith intercepted and destroyed the goods, valued at over one million dollars in today's currency, at a mountain pass near Sidling Hill. Of those captured by the Indians in the 18th century, none was better adapted to the life on the frontier than James Smith. Captured at the age of 18, while working on the Pennsylvania Spur of the Braddock Road, his subsequent adoption by Kanawaki Mohawks set in motion a chain of events that would influence the rest of his life. In his day, James Smith was a frontiersman, farmer, and soldier. In contrast to the gaunt, weathered appearance of fellow frontiersman Daniel Boone, Smith portrayed a round somewhat jovial portrait. Smith participated in the Revolutionary War as a colonel of the Pennsylvania militia and was a legislator in the Kentucky General Assembly. Smith was also an author, publishing a memoir about his captivity by Native Americans in his narrative in 1799 and also in 1812 with an in-depth analysis of Native American fighting techniques based on observations during his captivity. Smith was born in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, in an area now part of Franklin County, Pennsylvania. Some later sources suggest that he had little formal education. In 1755, while helping his cousin William Smith the Rhodes Commissioner, built a road west towards Cumberland County. He was taken captive by the Indians. He was transported to Fort Duquesne, where as a prisoner, he witnessed British soldiers being burnt alive at the conclusion of General Braddock's ill-fated campaign. James was eventually adopted by an Indian family and lived with them until he escaped in 1759 when he returned to the Conoquichic and took up a life of a frontier farmer. James Smith was an adventurer with natural leadership abilities. He led a local militia unit in 1763 called the Sidling Hill Volunteers. This group was also with Colonel Henry Bouquet in 1764 and was at the climatic battle of Bushy Run that broke the Indian siege of Fort Pitt. He later accompanied Bouquet into Ohio to help force the Indians in Pontiac's rebellion to sue for peace. In 1765, it was James Smith who led some of his former Sidling Hill volunteers in stopping George Crogan's 81-pack horse train containing illegal trade goods. British authorities, however, supported Crogan's trading, and this led to the Black Boys' Rebellion. The rebels laid siege to Fort Loudoun in the Pennsylvania mountain country and captured enough soldiers to exchange them two for one for settlers imprisoned for raids on wagon trains. Smith's, or the Black Boys' Rebellion, continued for nine months in 1765. It was the first armed resistance against British rule in America. The Black Boys drove one of Britain's premier military units out of Fort Loudoun. 
they successfully asserted their right to bear arms in defense of themselves and their community. In 1769, Smith and the Black Boys surprised Fort Bedford, freeing some prisoners being held there. Later in 1769, while passing through Bedford with two companions, Smith was accosted by several men intent upon arrest for being the leader of the Black Boys. Shots were fired, and one of Smith's companions was accidentally killed. Smith was initially found guilty of murder and jailed for four months before being exonerated and released. During his jail time, a group of 300 people, some of them black boys, came to free Smith from jail. But Smith convinced them to return home in peace. James Smith was elected to the 1776 Constitutional Convention and represented Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania. As a delegate, he signed the state constitution on September 26, 1776, which contained the right to bear arms. The first gun law in America, which became the model for the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution right to bear arms. When the American Revolutionary War broke out, he joined the Pennsylvania militia as captain and was made a colonel in 1778. Smith described his orders for at least one action against Indians in case of an attack. The officers were immediately to order the men to face out and take trees. In this position, the Indians could not avail themselves by surrounding us or have an opportunity of shooting a man from either side of the tree. After his wife died in 1778, Smith moved to Westmoreland County. In 1785, he married Margaret Irvin. By the late 1780s, he and his family were living in Bourbon County, Kentucky. He served as a member of the Kentucky General Assembly for a number of years. In 1799, he published a narrative and account of the remarkable occurrences in the life and travels of Colonel James Smith, consisting of an autobiography and an analysis of Indian culture. Smith became a Presbyterian missionary to the Native Americans, aided by the knowledge he had acquired of their customs in his earlier captivity. At this time of his life, Smith's son had become a Shaker. The Shakers were a group otherwise known as the United Society of Believers in Christ's Second Appearing. But after living with his son among the Shakers for only a few months, he concluded they were a cult and denounced them in a pamphlet entitled Remarkable Occurrences Lately Discovered Among the People Called the Shakers, printed in 1810. He continued his barrage in another pamphlet, Shakerism Detected, also printed in 1810. In 1812, in response to the nation's continuing troubles with the Indians, Smith published a treatise on the mode and manner of Indian warfare. At the end of his life, according to the May 8, 1813 edition of the Kentucky newspaper, The Reporter, Colonel James Smith died at the house of Mr. John Rogers, Green County, on Sunday, the 11th of April, after an illness of four weeks from an unspecified disease. An inspiration to future generations, James Smith was the subject of the 1937 book, The First Rebel, by Neil H. Swanson. He was later portrayed by John Wayne in the 1939 movie, Allegheny Uprising, which was based on the book. Long before the Boston Tea Party or the right of Paul Revere, colonists took two arms to defend their liberty. Unscrupulous merchants were selling firearms and fire water to the Indians under the protection of the army. When these Indians began pillaging towns and shooting defenseless settlers, colonists took matters in their own hands, whereupon martial law was clamped down on Pennsylvania. It was a bitter, fiery uprising, not against the king, but against the greed of traders and the arrogance of certain officers in command of his majesty's forces.
Well, thank you guys for checking out this video. And if you like this video and videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and share this videos with your friends. And always remember to get out there and explore. Thanks.